Hi everyone, welcome to the QA Ops channel. I'm Rafael Lima and today you're going to keep evolving our CLI. We're going to make it possible for you to update the CLI using the CLI itself. Uh, you, you folks are probably already thinking like, uh, why so many CLIs? I cannot stand anymore. Show me something else. Well, I mean, I believe this the, the CLI in Shell specifically is very important because it doesn't need necessarily to be a CLI, but you can create a script. You can create a Shell script that's going to do something amazing for your team, right? And I'm using the CLI uh, as a way to show you Shell functionality. I'm not just using CLI for the sake of creating some nice features, but I'm using it to show you some Shell functionality and what you can use between Shell and Unix to help your daily lives. So if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit the bell to receive the notifications of my next videos. And I'm going to be posting the links for the previous ones so you can keep it up. All right, so what we have here is what we're going to do is we're going to do BB and you have BB BB8, which is a CLI command uh, to deal with the CLI itself. We have hello, which is just a basic hello world using my user. Uh, and we have like a, a ASCII BB8. So this is users getting my, that's how it's getting my name. Here is going to show your name. Cool. So I need now to create an update command. So I'm going to come here in BB8 and I'm going to say update. And I'm going to, and I'm also going to create the actual user interface. And here it says updates BB8 CLI. Simple. Cool. So what I'm going to do, we're going to check like if BB8 needs updating, then update BB8. Otherwise, throw a message saying BB8 is already already at the latest version. And I close this. Amazing. We now need to create this and this. So I'm going to create a function and I'm going to call this function, this method here. And now we need to be able to update it, right? So I'm going to give a message saying, checking if BB-8 has any new changes. All right, the first thing that I need to do is I need to go into this folder, right? I need to, I'm going to interact with Git and I need to come to this folder and, and do some commands. So I need to go into that folder, right? That folder is, uh, we access by the root dir. So the CLI itself has a, ver uh, a, a variable called root dir, which is the root of our CLI. Cool. So I, I enter that folder. So now what I can do is I can execute a git command. The git command that I'm going to execute is called git remote update. This is not git pull, git rebase, or git fetch. This is just git remote update. It's just going to check if there is anything new in the remote repository. I'm going to execute the command. It's going to fetch the orange, and that's it. Right, so the first thing that we're going to do is uh, I, I want to discard this message, right? So I'm going to say git remote update. And the way that I discard a message is passing it to the uh, forward slash dev forward slash new. So this is how you discard the message to here. Right, and dev new is going to discard that that logs, not the message, sorry, the logs. Right, but what I can do with this, right? So I'm going to show you real quickly. So this is our repository CLI, and I'm going to come here and I'm going to create something and just say something. 
and I'm going to publish this. All right, so it's already here something, and I'm going to stash, stash. <coughs> excuse me, this change. I'm going to go to my main repository. I'm going to do git status. And it's saying that the branch is up to date, right? But it is not, there is something there. So I need to do git remote update. It's fetching the origin, is doing a bunch of logs and I'm discarding all of that. And now if I do a git status, it says your branch is behind by one commit, right? So what I want to look for is this. I want to execute this command and I want to check if there is this message. So I'm going to say, um, so I'm going to do git pull and then I'll do a git pull. I get the new change. If I do git status, I have the message, right? So what I can do is I'm going to say git statu status. So let me clean the logs and I'm going to do grep by this message, your branch is up to date. And when I do a grab, I get the message, it found the string. But I don't want to return the string, I want to return a number, if, you, if it was found or not. So I, I pass a dash C for counting. So now I got one. If I pass only my name, there is nothing. If I pass branch, it has two because it's going to be branch and branch, right? So I'm going to be looking for this specific string. And if it's one, it means that my branch is up to date. If there is anything that I need to change, then it's going to be zero because my branch is not up to date, right? Cool. So I need to go back to my branch and I need to pop my stash. Now, cool. So this is what I have. So now I did a git remote update. I entered a folder, right? So now I need to make sure I am in the git uh, checkout main. I need to be in the main branch. So this is what I'm going to do before, right? So I need to do the git main and then the update. Otherwise the update is going to be on the branch that I am. And I want to make sure I am on the main branch. So I'm going to do branch git checkout main and then I do the update, right? Cool. Now I can do a git status and, and I'm going to return a Boolean here. So that's how I execute a uh, Unix command inside shell. I pass a uh, dollar sign and uh, in parentheses, and I do git status pipe grab dash c, and I use this. Right? And now I need to validate this. This is going to return me a number. And I'm now I'm going to say equal to zero, right? So I'm using the, the, the name of the function to, to know what, what this function does. So BB8 needs updating. So this is a question. So uh, believe that uh, uh, you, you need to read that as a question mark. BB needs updating, right? So BB needs updating, yes or no? Right. In this case, your branch is up to date. If it's zero, it means it did not found this message. That means that it found a message saying that your branch need updating, right? Your branch was behind or your branch is forward or whatever. So this is the most secure uh, string that I found to check this because my branch can be behind, my branch can be ahead. So I did not want to check those, but these, uh, this is all the goal is going to be this one. So if, if this string is equal to zero, like if this command is equal to zero, it means that my branch needs updating. So this is going to be true. 
BB needs updating? True, because it was zero. If it's one, then this is going to be false, right? This is going to return false means it does not need updating. Cool, so if my branch needs updating, then update the branch. So we're going to do function Update BB8. All right, so now we're going to say in yellow, and I'm going to copy and paste here so we don't lose that amount of time typing. Are you uh, you are about to update BB8 CLI BB8 CLI? Do you want to proceed? Yes or no? And I'm going to read it. So how I read it is this: read, and I'm going to give the name of a variable for the response called response. Now I can check if response is y if it was yes for the response then what do i do i need to update i'm going to pass a message to the user saying uh updating bbhcli right now i need to and i'm going to say and, and now i need to update the cli so what do i do i do a git pull and that's it however I need to also go into the folder. I need to also do a check uh, a checkout main, right? So I need to come to the folder again to make sure we are in the folder, and I need to check out main to make sure we are in the branch that I want to delete to uh, update. Right? The reason why we are using we are going to the folder again, we already entered the folder, right? But we enter the folder because of this method and not this function, not because of these other function here. And we could call this function regardless of calling these one in, in other features, in other fe features in the future. So I rather making this atomic, meaning that the function is going to be able to do whatever it can do or whatever needs to be done, right? Cool. Uh, check out pull then i'm done so if i do not want to do the update anymore then i just say update cancel and that's it All right i don't need to do anything else um i can do uh, an exit here just to make sure that if there is anything else uh but i don't need to right i'm going to leave it at this saying a message to the user so now we can test this out right all right so uh the first thing that i'm going to show you is that uh you can ask me why i'm not discarding this other message here i do not want to discard this because if i try to update the cli now it's going to give me a message, right? So let's say BB, BB8 update. So it's saying to me that it's, at the moment of checking out main, it's giving me a message, say your local, you have local changes. If you proceed, you're going to override those. And I want to give the user the possibility of overriding or not. If I discard this message, the user won't know. And the user is not going to make the proper decision based on the information uh, that should be given, right? So that's why I'm not discarding any of this stuff. Let's try it out, right? So I, there is no change. So I'm going to say BB, BB update, nothing there. So checking BB, there is nothing to update. That's fine. Let's now force it and update. So we we have something. Let let's delete that something. So deleting this, committing. Right. I need to go back to the branch because 
this is uh oh yeah this is fine so now i need to update it again right so oh i need to go to the branch because on it, it did not update here sorry because we are checking out master right so we are checking out main that means that it changed just did not the cell i did not update my my shell did not update it so cool so if i do bb update now it's going to do that it's going to check there is some change you would like to do it no i do not want to do it so i need to go back to the branch again and something it is not here let me go back to main something it is here right we just deleted it right so let me go back to the branch so we can execute the update and now i'm going to update it it's updated the branch he went to the main branch and now something is gone so the updating command is working perfectly fine so that's it right so let me go back here so we have a way of updating our cli and but like, Rafael, why why are we going to use this so you need to think that this is i'm using the cli to show you a couple of automation commands right however in your project it might not be a cli it might be that you are you want to do something in in your java project right and that something could be getting the latest train change executing a uh Gradle boot run or creating a jar file, which the boot run is going to do. Uh, sorry, the boot run is going to execute the project, right? You can create like an artifact like Java, a jar file, and you can do something with that jar file, whatever, whatever you need, right? So you can do a set of scripts, a set of instructions to remove the amount of commands, the amount of toil that you do in your project to achieve whatever you're trying to achieve, right? So you can open up and use as a broader uh, solution for other problems and not a simple thing as doing a git pull that I'm showing you, right? Cool, that's it, right? So if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit the bell to receive the notifications of my next videos. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and it's really important that you do because that's how the channel can keep growing and i'm going to see you on the next video